Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to the channel, Skyrim and the Dawnguard DLC playthrough. It's We've got Oriel's nice bow. Now let's have a chat time. with Serana. Still, it's beautiful. What do we do now? I think we both know. It's time to face my father. If we don't, he'll keep chasing us for the rest of our lives. If we do, he'll I've have to die. This for a long time. It's, it's not easy. But I don't think we have much of a choice. No, this has to end here and now. Then let's face if we him head together. Back to the castle and kick the front door in. We're going to be knee deep in his friends. Let's head back to Isran and let him see what we've got first. I'm betting he'll lend us a sword or two. Okay, that's it. Uh, what we've got to do is head back to Castle Dawnguard to rally the troops. Okay, let's go. Just fast travel straight from here. Where are you? There's Fort Dawnguard. For some reason, my map struggles with... Uh, Fort Dawn Guard. Yeah, if you go the Dawn Guard side of things, uh, you have to speak to Serana to uh, progress to this stage for some weird reason. There's old Isran, looking his cheerful self. You have Oriel's bow. I heard it described oh, in tales, but I could never have imagined its beauty. It's not a shiny, apparently. Indeed. We need the your help, his friend. been won while Harkon still walks Tamriel. But what of Serana? Can she be trusted to lift a blade against her own kind? Her own family? Well, ask her. She's right next to you. I suppose that's as much as I, I can trust her to do the right thing. Let me address the Dawn Guard and then we'll be off. The men deserve to know that we finally gained the upper hand. Everyone, come on then. Come on then, boys, girls, chop chop, let's go, come on. For too long, we've allowed these vampires to poison the night and kill our people. Now, we finally have the means to strike back. We now have Ariel's bow. The gods themselves have favored us. And we must answer with action. The time has come to finally put an end to Hargon and his unholy prophecy. We will march on their lair and destroy those wretched abominations so they can no longer corrupt our world. This is our fight, and this is our fate. This is the time of the Dawn Guard. Kill the abominations! Yay! Kill them! Kill them! Yay! <laughs> it's time we take the fight to their door. Gather your things and rest well, my friend. We meet outside Castle Mokahara. Stay alert. Okay, that's it. Rousing speech done. Let's uh, crack on. We got some serious vampire ass to kick. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think I'll probably leave Cedric uh, at the jetty. Uh, this is a big boys fight, Cedric. You've got to stay here. I think it's a little bit over the top for you. Oh, okay, no messing about. Let's just get straight into this thing. There you go. Have some of that. Lovely. <laughs> Oh, 
really hard to see who's who in this. done. Now these fights are going to be really confusing so uh, let's pop in some Stormies. I normally use my Dramoras but there's going to be some distance and range fighting in here so let's crack on. Obviously you guys play this your own way but I would uh, suggest if you've got any decent archery skills and a decent bow is to stay up the top here and take out the guys in the balcony. Uh, they're picking off the dawn guard from up uh, on high. So if you can help them out by taking these guys out. There you go. These are two here and there's another one I think. Okay. This is why I use the Stormies. Right, let's get down there. Okay, the Stormies are fighting here, it's like someone's around. Good night. That's him taken care of. And I think we're pretty much there. Okay. Let's just check everyone here. Come on, Serana. I need you, Serana. You're kind of key to this girl. Okay, yeah, quick save. <laughs> uh, obviously, this is an end of uh, storyline uh, boss fight, so it's going to be tough. So make sure you're you're good to go. Have everything you need hot keyed. Anything good? Okay, now I want to give her a different staff. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, give her that one. Yeah, it's going to be uh, some fighting, range fighting in here, so the uh, the flame action could be better. I think. Okay, let's hope she uses them. Serana, my darling. I see you still favor keeping a pet. You know why we're here. Of course I do. You disappoint me, Serana. You've taken everything I provided for you and thrown it all away for this pathetic being. Provided? Really? Are you insane? You've destroyed our family. You've killed other vampires all over some prophecy that we barely understand. No more. I'm done with you. You will not touch her. So, I see this dragon has fangs. Your voice drips with the venom of your mother's influence. How alike you've become. No. Because unlike her, I'm not afraid of you. Not anymore. And you. It appears I have you to thank for turning my daughter against me. I knew it was only a matter of time before she'd return with hatred in her heart. Hatred born of your a neglect. Small price to pay for the betterment of our kind. Your kind is a blight yes, on this yes. world. Always the noble vampire hunter. And what happens when you've slain me? Is Valerica next? Is Serana. Then I would my never harm Serana. She's lost. too important to me. She died the moment she accepted a mortal into her life. And she's fit. Enough of this. Yes, quite. I'm growing weary of speaking to you and my traitorous daughter. I'll give you a single chance to turn over the bow to me. There will not be a second. Never. Very well then, you leave me no choice. Are you... Okay, let's go. Let's get up the storm. Okay. I'm 
Oh. He really does dodge him out, by the way. Oh, what's that? Damn clipping. There you go. Good shot. Okay, this is all you want. The Orioles bow hot keyed. So you've got to shoot this uh, like little bubble he's in. I think I have to do it three or four times, but we'll find out. It's pretty quick. Trying to shoot me again. Okay, she does does that just uh, put your weapons away. Now that's done. Okay, that wasn't so bad. I'm not sure. If we're prepared, it never I'll is probably actually. Probably stay with the Dawn Guard for as long as they'll let me. They're respectable fighters, and I think they see the benefits of having a vampire on their side now. Of course, if you've got any more adventures planned. So you can choose to have her as a follower or not. Um, I'd love to have you along. Let's make some more it's over. Oh, he's dead. No, before I do that, quick save. Well, now that's done. Not what will sure. you do now? I'll probably stay with the Dawn Guard for as long as they'll let me. They're respectable fighters. And I think they see the benefits of having a vampire on their side now. Of course, if you've got any more adventures planned. I'd love to have you along. To hear. Now, the reason why I quick saved that was um, just as I don't want to lose Genesis as a follower. So I want to see if Genesis is still there. Let's go. And she is. I, brilliant. I suppose it's Absolutely brilliant for you. I think my father really died a long time ago. This was just the end of something else. I did what needed to be done. Yeah, out of the two, I'd rather keep Genesis as the follower. I, I do like her, Serana, though. I think you did more than that. You have my thanks. So, the beast is destroyed. Not only that, but Ariel's bow is in safe hands. The you think? The guard will now be dedicated to safeguarding it. Making sure that prophecy will never come to pass. You serve Skyrim well. Even with these vampires gone, the fight isn't completely over. Once we're settled back in at the fort, there will be more work to do. We'd be honored to have you join us. Okay, that's the uh, the main boss fight done in, in the uh, storyline, and that's uh, pretty good. Some decent loot on Harkon. You've got Harkon's sword, absorbs 15 points of health, magic, and stamina if it's wielded by a vampire, which clearly is not good uh, for us at this particular time. Um, you can give it to Serana, um, though if you get her to cure herself, obviously it's no good to her. So, in my opinion, it's just a great trophy. Um, but of course, if you go to the vampire side uh, on this uh, storyline, then... Yay, it's good for you. And uh, a few other bits and bobs. And you can loot around um, if, if you want. Um, there's a few bits. Well, not amazing loot around here, to, to be fair. The only disappointing thing is um, uh, that this doesn't become a player home if you go the Dawn side uh, side of the storyline. Now, if you went as the vampire on the vampire side, you could kick this as a player home which would be, you know, pretty damn cool. And it's a shame you can't do that uh, on both sides. So there it is. Um, have a little look around and uh, let's go and pick up Cedric. 
Yeah, one of the reasons why I don't uh, bring Cedric um, in, into a fight like this is I think it's a bit too much for him. I mean, he's quite powerful, and the armour I've given him is really good. Uh, but in huge melees like this, it's quite easy to lose them. And it's one of the reasons why I like having followers, because uh, you have to then start thinking uh, a little bit deeper on, on what you're doing and the consequences of it. So, oh great, got vampirism as well. That's fantastic. Um... Yeah, actually, it's not bad, because that's uh, another video I'm doing about curing vampirism. Anyway, guys, that's it. The main storyline is done. Harkon is dead. We have Oriel's bow. Hope you enjoyed it. See you later. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.